In this video, we are going to be tackling problem number three, um, which is about separating digits in an integer. It says, write a program that input one five uh, digit integer, separate the number into its individual digit, and display the digits separated by, from one another by three spaces each. Uh, hint, use combination of integer division and a reminder operation. So for example, if the user types in 42139, the program should display 4, 2, 1, 3, and 9 separately. Uh, and this is uh, exercise 2.26 and see how to program it Nint edition by Dietel. All right. So that is what we are going to do just now. Uh, we are going to tackle this particular problem. So I'm going by the uh, the question is going. We are going to uh, request five digit integer from the user. So first we need to make use of the prompt to prompt the user to enter a five digit uh, integer. So we have this. Uh, uh, enter a five digit integer. So we say enter a five digit integer. Enter a five digit integer. So now the user is going to enter a five digit uh, integer. Right. So we have uh, now we can declare those uh, integer. Uh, let's see a uh, number or oh, let me call it a uh, number, number, number. Okay. So we have integer uh, number. So the variable number that the user is going to enter, we are going to store it in the variable number. And then we have now our scan f function to get the uh, number from the keyboard that the user is going to type. So we have D, compression space fire, and then we have and uh, number, number to store the number. So next, now we have the number. <coughs> now we begin performing operate, we begin to perform operation on it. So I'm going to make use of uh, some variables to store the individual number and variables. I'm going to make use of uh, variables from A, uh, starting from A to store the individual digit while number uh, uh, variable starting from Z to store the remainder of operations. So basically what I'm saying, I'm going to declare a variable int A and initialize it with, uh, since we are going to enter a five digit number like uh, 42321, uh, then if we divide it by, let's count how many digit, one, two, three, four. So if I divide it by uh, a number with uh, uh, four zeros, that is 10,000, I'm going to get, uh, using integer division, I'm going to get four. So when I divide by, when I divide this number by uh, 10,000, uh, I'm going to uh, have four, using integer division, I'm going to have four as the result. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to int A, I'm going to divide the number, using integer division, I'm going to divide it by 10,000. Now when I this, uh, so we have get the first digit, get the first, uh, get the first digit. So now we have the first digit which has been stored in the variable E. Now we need to get the reminder so that we can continue the division. So now I'm going to declare another variable in Z. I initialize it with a uh, number when I have number modulo one ten thousand. 10,000 now and what I'm trying to do here get the remainder get the remainder uh, from dividing dividing I uh, get the remainder from dividing uh, from dividing uh, number by 1,000 get the uh, okay I think it's okay just get the remainder from the, from the division from the previous division from the previous division the previous division so that is what we are doing uh, next and then uh, now we have uh, the reminder which is now we have gotten four and z is going to contain the reminder 2139 so now we need to get two so to get two i'm going to make use of b variable again and say uh, z divided by uh, uh, 1000 this time around so 1000 this time around just uh 10000 we will remove 10 we have 1000 so get the second number get this second digit get the second digit now 
I said earlier, I'm going to make use of a variable from Z. So uh, Y into Y equals to to get the reminder. So we have Z modulo 1000. What is the reminder? So we get the reminder from the previous division. Get the reminder. Um, uh, okay. So what I'm going to let me just copy this. Uh, in the second division, copy, paste. So we get the remainder from the second division. So now we have our second digit. Next, we need the third digit. We say int c, the same thing, uh, equals to uh, y. Now this time around, divide by now uh, 100, uh, 100. So I say get the, uh, get the third digit. Get the third digit, and then we have int uh now the x get the reminder is y uh, modulo 100 so i just paste this get the reminder from the previous division <coughs> we're in the previous division so let me save it now next again we have int uh d the result of uh uh we get the Fourth digit to get the fourth digit, we are going to divide x by 10. So we get the fourth uh, digit. So we're going to get the fourth digit now. We say int and then uh, get the fourth digit. Now uh, the fifth digit, uh, the, fifth, uh, the fifth digit is the reminder from uh, the division. So we say int, uh, uh, int x so we have uh, we have used w so we say w uh, is uh, uh, we have this x modulo modulo 10 when we divide uh, x by 10 the reminder so which is to get the fifth uh, digit so get the fifth digit so now we have our first second digit so now we can print out the result. So we print f, print f. Now we can have uh, backward slash new line. Uh, all right. So we can see. Uh, Number the integer integer separated into its individual digit is and then we have uh, First digit, the second digit, the fourth digit, the third digit rather, the fourth digit, and then the fifth digit. And then we have, uh, so we have number, and then we have number, uh, we have number. So this is getting lengthier. Let me just break it into the so we have we have number and then we have now the individual digit we have a which is the first and next we have sub so b which is the second digit and then we have c which is the third digit and then we have d which is the fourth digit so here let me since i've been using the abc yeah uh, this is not a reminder this is a digit uh, let me make use of E. So, and then we have E, which is the last digit A, B, C, D, E. Okay, I'm going to save it. Now, next, I'm going to. So, we are done. We are done with this program. We have gotten the numbers. We have separated them into in their individual digit using integer division and modulus operator. Now, let's go to the terminal, compile this program, and see the output. And if there is any error, we try to come over and fix the error. So I'm going to have this GCC. 
uh, and the program name of the program is separation dot c uh, separation dot c and then I want to output it as separation. So the program uh, the pro uh, the program has compiled successfully. There's no any error. Uh, so let's now uh, run it and see. Enter a five digit integer. So let me have five six seven eight nine. Uh, is this five? Yes, this is five, and then I'm going to hit enter. So I have the integer five six seven eight nine separated into int eighth individual digit is five six seven eight nine. So perfect. As as we can see, our program is working uh, perfectly. So thank you for taking your time to watch this video. And um, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please. Uh, click on the subscription button and please click on the bell icon so that whenever I upload any new tutorial, you'll be able to have access to it. Thank you.